In Massachusetts today, the Department of Public Health reported more than 2,000 new cases of the coronavirus, bringing the state's total now to more than 20,000 cases. The state also reporting another 96 deaths due to the virus, bringing that total to 599. Today, Governor Charlie Baker is advising people to wear a mask in public as the state expects to see a surge in coronavirus cases soon. Today, Governor Baker said new data projects Massachusetts will reach its peak on April 20th with about 2,500 new cases per day. The state also gearing up for a jump in hospitalizations. Governor Baker plans on opening five field hospitals across Massachusetts. One is already set up in Worcester, another opening up today at the Boston Convention Center. A few weeks ago, we told you about a 21 year old in North Attleboro who was warning others to take social distancing seriously after he says he tested positive for COVID-19. We checked in with him and we're glad to report he says he's made a full recovery. His message to others, it's not about you, but the people around you, something he wishes he took more seriously. Iowa News News reporter Shino Loshuto has the follow up. Well, when I FaceTime with Connor McLaughlin, he was happy to report to me he was upstairs in his living room. That's something he now considers a luxury after being isolated in his basement for two weeks. At 21 years old, college student Connor McLaughlin enjoys going out and having fun. But over the last few weeks, he's learned some of life's most valuable lessons right here at home. That's where he's had to self-isolate after testing positive for COVID-19. So as I can feel the cough move from my throat down to my chest, because you can feel it move, which is a weird thing, which is kind of like how I picked up on it. During the first week of March, he went to Cancun. Shortly after he got back, school moved to online classes, so he went home to North Attleboro. Then around St. Patrick's Day, he started feeling ill and officially got tested. It was just like a wave of, oh my gosh, like, who have I infected? Like, what do I do now? What about my parents? When he was on his trip, he felt concerns about coronavirus weren't as high, but he now wishes he acted like they were. He started feeling better quickly, but is more worried about others he may have put at risk. He explains even simple things for him became challenging. Why is getting up the stairs a challenge? That doesn't make much sense. This was his reality for two weeks, isolated in the basement, away from his parents to try to keep them safe. Connor says his doctor cleared him about a week ago, and while life is far from what he's used to, he's now thankful for his health and his loved ones. I'm waking up in my bed upstairs, which is so much better than the bed in the basement, and being able to just walk out in the living room and watch the news with my family or watch a movie or a TV show is kind of like the new normal. And the good news is Connor's parents immediately got tested after he did. Their results came back negative. I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.